Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm here to tell you how my not-so-small problem changed the course of my life. When it comes to butts, well, there are lots of names for them, such as tush, behind, backside, bottom, and so on. Trust me, I've heard them all, countless times. You see, I have a big butt. In proportion to the rest of me then, well, it's undeniably massive. My mom and dad both have pretty big butts, so combine both of their genes together, and you end up with me. Ever since I was a little kid, strangers passed comments on the size of my butt. I remember being in a grocery store once, innocently looking in the candy aisle, when a woman came up to my mom and said, Your baby, is she alright? Because her backside seems to be very big. Yeah, seriously, some people were that rude. And the older I got, and the bigger my butt grew, then the worse their comments became. Teenage me? Well, I had a hard time. At the time when I hit puberty, my butt became even more enormous than boys didn't look at my face anymore. Instead, they only seemed to notice my butt. One boy was staring at it so hard that he walked straight into his locker and gave himself a concussion. Then there were the seats at school. I mean, why did they have to be so tiny? I'd rather stand up than try to fit in them. But no choice for me, I had to literally squeeze myself onto it, then do a wiggle routine to get out of it, and in fact, whenever I tried to sit down, someone always pointed and laughed at me. Talk about awkward. This popular girl called Mary always went out of her way to tease me. One day, I was wandering down the hallways when Mary stuck her foot out and tripped me over, and then said, No one likes you, tushy face. I looked up at her, and that's when I realized I'd had enough. I must do something to stop this. As she triumphantly walked past me, my anger flared up. And for a moment, I lost control. I rushed in and pushed her. The next moment, she fell down the stairs and lay there unconscious. I stood stunned watching her. I hadn't noticed that we were standing near the stairs. Seeing that, her group of mean girls rushed in and started to hit me. I just couldn't do anything but lay on the ground and keep my head. Then, a voice piped up at the back of the crowd. Leave her alone. It isn't her fault that she has a big bum. It was this girl called Anita. After that, we started hanging out more, both in school and out of it. Having Anita by my side made me feel stronger, and the mean comments about my butt size didn't bother me so much anymore. My life at school got a bit better. Then one day, this rich kid at school was holding a huge senior party at his family mansion. For the first time in a long time, I felt confident enough to go. I arrived at the party wearing my cutest dress. I saw Mary with her large gang of wannabes, but I knew there'd be lots of trouble if she saw me, so I chose to avoid her. Then I spotted Thomas, the most handsome, sweetest guy I knew. I'd pretty much had a crush on him since preschool, but I'd always been too self-conscious to tell him about it. Go and talk to him. Anita gave me a gentle nudge forward. Go on, before Mary gets to him first. My nerves took over, so I said to her, But what if he isn't interested? She rolled her eyes at me. Not gonna happen. Now go. He seemed happy to see me, and we both hung out and drank a lot. Then we snuck off upstairs to the master room. We sat on the bed, and he looked at me. Like really looked at me, then said, I really like you, Sarah, and I think you're the most beautiful girl in school. I blushed. This was the sweetest thing a boy had ever said to me. Then he leaned in and kissed me. OMG, talk about amazing. We were passionately kissing when the door burst open and someone shouted, Why are you with her? It was a furious looking Mary. She continued yelling at us both, and even tried to hit me, but Thomas protected me. Then he took my hand and led me out of the room. Mary continued to shout mean comments at me, but I didn't care. Thomas liked me, and she just needed to deal with it. A week later, Thomas asked me out, and I said yes. Being his girlfriend was the best thing ever, as he made me feel so special. Suddenly, having a big butt didn't seem to matter. In fact, Thomas said it only added to my beauty. Then one day at school, I was sitting in class when an announcement came over the speaker. Sarah Montgomery, please report to the principal's office right away. The principal said that Mary's parents had reported the fight between me and Mary, and I was the one who started it first. So I was expelled. 
I was so mad that I didn't even bother clearing up my locker. Instead, I just stormed out of there. I ended up at a different school, and I tried my best to focus on my studies. I wanted to go to college and study drama, as I loved acting, and believed my unique body shape would be a big selling point in the industry. Thomas and I continued to date. He always supported me and made me feel like I was capable of doing anything. I didn't see much of Anita anymore, but we kept in touch. One day, I was studying in a cafe when a man came over to me, passed me his business card, and told me that with a butt like mine, I could make serious money modeling. So that's how I became a photo model. Turns out the man hadn't been lying about the money. Okay, so I wasn't an actress, yet, but I earned loads. Finally, the part of my body I was so ashamed of made me super successful. I paid off all my college fees and gave my parents back all the money I'd loaned off them. A few months later, I was on a date with Thomas, and in the middle of dinner, he bent on one knee and pulled out a ring and said, Sarah, will you marry me and make me the happiest man alive? Overcome with joy, I shouted out, Yes, 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 I will marry you! Finally, the day of our wedding arrived, and I was so excited. After everything I'd been through, I was finally going to marry my charming prince. I had the most amazing fairy tale dress and the perfect castle venue. Better still, Anita was there as my maid of honor. As I was dancing, I saw Jack, who was my drop dead gorgeous cousin, and he just came to join my wedding party. Anita had always been looking to meet him. I was so excited and decided that tonight was the perfect time for Anita to get access to him. I went looking for her, but she wasn't on the dance floor or by the bar, so I searched upstairs. I was about to open one of the doors when I heard a male voice coming from within. I'll try and get some money off her. Just give me a few weeks, okay? Then I heard a girl's voice say, But honey, we need the money now, and I don't like Sarah. She's more butt than person. Then the guy said, You know I don't love her. I only love you. I looked through the crack in the door and saw the two of them kissing. Then I registered who they both were. It was Thomas and Anita. My new husband was kissing my best friend on our wedding day. Angrily, I ran into the room and threw my shoe at Thomas's head. Unfortunately, he ducked in time. Seeing me, Anita was extremely terrified and immediately ran out of the room, leaving just me and Thomas there. I shouted at him. You're a jerk! Anything to say, huh? Thomas looked at me in panic and confessed to me all. So Thomas told me how he'd liked me back in school, but over time, his feelings for me changed, and he found himself falling for Anita. He was going to break up with me, but then I ended up being successful. Seeing as he'd been the one supporting me, he thought it was only fair that he got a share of my money. So him and Anita constructed this whole wedding plan to take half of my money. I was so shocked. I had to sit on the ground. My heart felt like it was shattering in my chest. Then I opened my mouth and screamed at the top of my voice. I ran out of that place crying and the wedding was canceled. I'm not gonna lie, it's been hard. Being betrayed by the man I loved and my best friend was painful. I shed a lot of tears over them, but I refused to shed any more. Turns out Thomas wasn't the man for me, but I believe that my perfect man is out there somewhere. My backside may be exceptionally large, but I'm still a real person with real feelings. I only wish the world was more understanding, but for now, I'm using my butt to progress in my career, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be just fine. Always be you, and never let anyone take away your shine. If you try so hard to fit in and be normal, then you'll never find out how truly amazing you are and how you were born to stand out.